you started um, to do the basics in designing your calendar. So the previous video we showed you how to log in, how to navigate the system, and how to get to this point. I am still on the A413ST design, um, so we have a cover for this particular design calendar, or style of calendar I should say, excuse me. So we will start with the cover. Um, now I need images to drag and drop my photo over here, so I'm going to click the images tab. I'm going to click import. Um, I have some images uploaded already. However, they do not have the checkbox in the square. And just remember that the images that you have uploaded, um, if you don't have something on the left-hand side of the screen in the previous screen that we just saw, it should be sitting here if you have uploaded it. And then you can just click the box and click import. However, if you do not have your photo, and I'll show you how to do this, you would click Add Photos. I'm going to find a photo that I don't have uploaded, or maybe we'll just upload another one. I don't know. Let's upload this one. Click Upload. And you will see I did have that image uploaded, but it doesn't matter, I uploaded it again. Also, just note that the formats of the images that you can upload are JPEG, JPG, PNG, GIF, GIF, PDF, and SVG file. If your photo is in a format other than those listed here, they will not upload properly. So I'm going to click these two, I'm going to click import, and it will only upload those two that I chose or clicked that little square and um, check mark that box. So you can upload as many as you want in one upload, or you can do them individually one at a time as you go through your calendar. Whatever you preferred, um, you can do it either way. So I'm working on my cover. I want to use this photo. Um, also, before I do that, let me let me just share with you the fact that this box is the allocated size that your photo will drop into. So it automatically sizes it to fill that space. However, in saying that, if you drop a photo in here and still see the gray background and this wording in here, drag your photo here, it does not show, it will not print behind your photo. So it is not necessary that you delete this. However, you can if you like. Um, if you want to delete this, you would need to unlock and then hit the trash can there, or you can hit the trash can up here and it will take that out. And then it will drop and drag your picture in there. It may not be the exact size. You may have to um, drag handles on the side of the picture for it to automatically fill in the allocated space, but you will see um, as you drag along that it will hide the image behind the, the outer white space. So I'm going to do it both ways real quick so you can see what happens. Um, so I'm just going to drag this photo in here. It pops right in. Um, automatically sizes it properly, centers it, whole nine yards. Now I'm going to delete it. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to hit the trash can and it takes it out. We still have this. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to click unlock. I'm going to click the trash can. We'll log on. So now I'm going to drag this over and it doesn't size it. Now what I want to see is if I click on it, it does not size it as well. Or if I drag it, it does not size it. So so we took out the automatic sizing of that photo, the simple drag and drop, when we deleted that box. So I'm going to just drag it over here. I'm going to grab these handles and you will see, watch the right hand side of my screen, you will see how the photo goes behind that square. So that keeps um, the quarter of an inch 
space on either side. on all, all four sides equal. So now because it didn't pop it in and resize it for me, I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. You're going to click the photo, you're going to click info, and you're going to unlink this. So what this does, and you'll see if there's not a line through here, that as you increase this number, this one also should change. Hmm. Interesting. Um, I'm going to... You will notice that when I placed my line here, it added these two handles on the photo. So I can drag it either way. Then, now that we have the photo in there where we want it, I'm going to click the Align button and make sure that it is aligned center and aligned middle. So, um, way easier if you choose to drag and drop without deleting the allocated square. However, if you have a photo that you want resized or it doesn't... Um, dropping in exactly like you like, then you know that you can delete that and then add and drag your handles and place your image wherever you like. Also, you will notice that I can check, if I click on this image, these little boxes always pop up when you click on whatever part of the tool that you're working in. Um, but when I click that, I can drag this left and I can expand this. Um, so that then I have more picture and I can I can place the bird more left or right, up or down. But I prefer center just so that I make sure I get the entire photo. And that's where I'm going to leave it. I just wanted to share that with you real quick. In the next video, we will show you how to add custom text um, for placement. How to edit text as far as style and color. So be sure to check on the next one so that you can customize and personalize your business calendar using maybe your theme colors or your um, theme text style. So that's what we will cover in the next video.